Do you want a button on screen that lets players switch between first and third person? Well today I'm going to show you how, let's go. What you're going to need is a first person camera device, an input trigger and also some triggers. Okay so first we're going to go over the input trigger, make sure the input type is on creative input action and the creative input is really up to you but I do have some suggestions. So if you're making a zero build map then you could use the swap quick bar option which is the one I'm using right now. Basically it's the build button, so on Xbox it would be B, I don't know what it is on PlayStation. This is custom 11 at the moment, they may change that, I don't know. If you don't need your pickaxe then you could use the harvesting tool button which is custom 12. And then if you're making a solo map, um, players aren't really going to need to place their markers so you can use custom 13 which is place marker. So those are just some suggestions, if you do need all those actions then you could use something else like squad request or emotes. But for me, I'm going to use Swap Quick Bar. Consume input, make sure you put this to on so it doesn't activate other things on your map. Show on HUD to on. HUD description, this is what it shows in the middle left section of your screen. And I just wrote first person. And that's the only settings you really need to change for that. We'll come on to the events in a second. Now let's come on to the actual first person camera device. You don't really have to change any settings in here if you don't want to. Just make sure add to players on start is to off. And then the transition time, it doesn't really matter, but this just makes it cleaner. And the field of view, you can really change this to whatever you want, so I'll just put it to the max. Okay, so now let's place down a trigger. These triggers, so it's going to count how many times they press the input. And the first time, it's going to give them first person, and then on the second time, it's going to take it away. And then it just keeps bouncing back and forth. Make sure you put these triggers somewhere outside of your map, not near the playable area. So you can put trigger by player and damage to off, it doesn't really matter if you put this outside of your map. So the only setting you really need to change is time to trigger to 1. And then make sure it's triggered when receiving from the input trigger on input pressed. And then we're going to get down another trigger and for this one, the time to trigger is going to be 2. And then transmit every X triggers is also going to be 2. And then once we trigger it twice, it's going to remove the first person. So go to the functions tab and make sure trigger when receiving from is also on input trigger on input pressed. And then put reset times triggered when seen from this trigger itself. So trigger wherever this is, for me it's free, I'm triggered. And for the first trigger, make sure reset times triggered is also the second trigger, the one that has the um, times triggered too. So that is trigger free. Because we want this to reset once this one's been completed. So you want it to reset times triggered when seen from the second trigger or trigger free in this case on triggered and then guys when you go to the events tab all you have to do is put on triggered send event to first person camera to add player then on the second trigger on triggered send event to the first person camera to remove from player and then these two should already be here so the first trigger reset times triggered and also itself to reset times triggered as you can see I have first person and I can just click it and it's gonna take me in and out if you take those triggers away, you won't be able to hear the sounds. If this tutorial did help you out, make sure to like and subscribe. If you guys want a first person switch actually in the game that you can walk up to and press, make sure to check out the video on screen now. Thanks for watching the video guys, peace.